Do you want to know all about the great new features that are available on Prompt Buddy right now and how easy it is to upgrade? I'm the Productivity Coach and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Redout, the Productivity Coach, and I work at Microsoft as part of our Modern Work AI ecosystem team. And I also created Prompt Buddy. Now, if you haven't seen Prompt Buddy, it is a fantastic free power app that allows you to create your own internal prompt library that you could use on Copilot or any other GPTs or Copilots that you create. It's not restricted just to Copilot for Microsoft 365. You could use it for any AI service that you use. Um, and it just allows you to share discover um, and uh, and to save your own brilliant prompts that you can share with the rest of your organization so they can all be super productive. And we have been putting in a ton of effort into bringing new features out all the time for it. So what I'm going to do is walk you through some of the new features that we've put in um, and show you just how easy it is to get updated if you've already installed it. But before I do that, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button on this channel and hit the notification icon so so you find out when new content comes. So loads and loads of people watch this video, but they don't subscribe on the channel. So that might be you. And if it is, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And of course, do like and share and all of those great things. But actually subscribers allow us to prove the value of the channel and make sure that we're uh, producing more great content. So let's dive in and take a look at this. Okay. So, uh, so what I'm going to do, let's show you, first of all, what is new. Um, so, you know, depending on when you last updated, here are some of the new features. So one of the great new things we added is a search function. So bizarrely enough, we didn't have a search function there previously. Um, so this allows you to look for prompts. It searches the title and it searches the description there. So if I was looking for something around maybe project plans, then I could hit project plan, go and then here I can see that this has matched the term project plan in the description. Uh, okay, so let me go back. Um, the other thing is, you know, you might have looked through and seen these top contributors here in this chart, being like, oh, I want to see more prompts by that person. Now you can, if you click on the name there, it will show you all of the prompts that they have created. So you can go and find, if you've enjoyed one prompt, you can go and find another one. Uh, We've also added the ability now to edit and delete your own prompts here. So sometimes you put a prompt in, it doesn't really work, or you've put a typo, or you need to re-tag it. So I've got this one here, when are you next meeting with your boss? And I've tagged it for Copilot for M365, but I might say, well, actually, this is really useful for a frontline worker or for a people leader or a manager or something like this. Now, unfortunately, one of the downsides of this is you do need to upload the image again because um, we see some funky behavior with the um, the image quality. So uh, if you do edit it, you do need to update uh, or upload a new version of the image, unfortunately. Uh, but that is great. It was missing was um, editing. But yeah, you can edit and you can delete as well. So if you make a mistake, you can delete and start again. Now, you, if you've used it previously, you might have noticed we had a thumbs up. We have changed that now into a heart. Following feedback, people just said they preferred the heart. It made it easier for them to work with it. And then, of course, if you do heart it or you did thumbs up it previously, you want to get back to it. So now we've added this button, my likes, and that shows you all of the prompts that you have uh, given a heart to. So let's say I enjoyed this one about um, creating a rich pre-meeting briefing document or that you've been away on holiday for seven days uh, and then you know time's passed and you want to kind of get back to it all you need to do now is click on that new my likes button here and you can see all of those so you can use it as some kind of bookmark uh, bookmarking system to be able to go back and find them so those are what's new really easy to update. So I'm going to show you here in my Copilot Center of Excellence. And now this is a job for the admin to do, but all you need to do is go to aka.ms forward slash get prompt buddy. That will take you to the GitHub page. And then over here on the right hand side, we've got the releases. You can click on that, that release that says there, that will always be the latest release. Um, and then you can download that zip file there. Now, if you want to look and see what we've had previously, if you click on releases, it will show you all of the previous releases and the features that have been added on each of those. But I'm gonna take the latest one here, just download that to my computer, and then I can start to use that as part of my update. So once that's downloaded, it should take only a few seconds because it's not very big. I'm gonna to go to the Power Apps app in Microsoft Teams. 
Okay, and then when that's loaded, um, you can either go and go where it says see more down the bottom of this list of recent apps, or alternatively, you can go to the build tab at the top there. Uh, but I'm gonna click here on see more, and it will show me all of my environments here. So I'm gonna go into the Copilot Center of Excellence because that's where I've got mine installed. Click onto that, just wait a few seconds there, and I'm gonna go see all, and that will show me everything that has been installed there. Okay, and then all I need to do is go up to the top there, click on import and import solution, browse to find the file, uh, then it will go it'll probably be in my downloads. So I'm going to go over to downloads here. Okay, look for prompt buddy. There it is there. And I'm going to go on to next. This will then tell me what it's going to be updating. So it makes it, you know, so I've got, I'm in control of what I update. So I always know what is going to change. It doesn't impact any of the data that's already in there already. It just changes the app itself. But you can see here what's going to change. We click on to next um, and then import. So it said there all the things are going to change. They don't necessarily mean that's what's going to change, but it's saying this is what it's going to be re-importing here. So I do that and that will just take a few seconds. And then you can see at the top here, it's got a bar, this gray bar that says currently importing customizations. Um, this could take a few minutes. Uh, here in my example, I actually took about four and a half minutes um, and you will just see the color change. There, it's gone yellow, it's given me a warning, and that's because it's had to turn off a flow and then re-enable a flow. So that's just a warning, it is fine, it's not a problem at all. And that actually is the whole thing. So now if I go back to Teams and I go onto the Prompt Buddy tab, I can see here, if I just wait a moment, um, it will uh, just, it will probably pop up a message saying I need to update the app. There you go. So it says that I need to refresh that. That's what your end users will see. So it's really obvious that there's um, something new and shiny that they need to install. Um, they don't, in fact, they don't need to install. They just need to click that refresh button. And if we wait a moment, if we see the, there we can see the my likes button. So that means that you've got the latest and greatest. It's all updated. So all you need to do if I just click on that, that will show me uh, my prompts in this environment that I like. Just give it a second. There we go. And that's it. So uh, now we can uh, we can come and talk to our users about it, tell them all about the exciting new features that are there in Prompt Buddy and get them to start using it. So there you go. Really, really easy to install um, and start using that. Um, so that's it really. Or if you need any help, go to aka.ms forward slash get prompt buddy. That's where the latest files are. Um, if you do have any issues or challenges, there's an issue report there. So you can go to the issues tab um, and add anything in there. But actually all of our users, they find it really, really straightforward to do that update. So hopefully you found this useful. Again, please hit that subscribe button so that you hear about the latest content. And um, if you go to the GitHub repo, if you star that repo, it will also send you a message when we update something on there as well. So hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you again on another video.